Pine tip moth is an important economic pest of southern pines, and there's actually several species. They're in the Riasonia genus. Um, so there's one called the Nantucket pine tip moth, and several others. Um, but they are actually a, a moth, uh, the adult form, but it's actually the larvae that cause the damage, as in the case of many insect pests. And what happens is um, the, the adult uh, lays its eggs, uh, the adult females lay their eggs on the developing shoots, uh, the tips, of course, um, of the uh, pines. And they, the larvae, as they feed on the succulent shoots, they basically burrow into the growth and effectively cut off the flow of, of, uh, of water and nutrients and cause uh, the death of the tip. And so what happens is you ultimately get a tunnel, sort of a hole, uh, multiple holes and tunnels, and eventually that tip dies. And so, you know, the shoot usually doesn't fully develop. It happens usually earlier in the season, so the, the, the tip dies back and you get stunted growth. And so, it, you know, if you just have one of these, it's not an issue typically, but often what happens is you have a lot of these. You know, you, you'll get many of these on a tree. Sometimes almost all the new growth will be affected and it stunts the tree. And sometimes you also have what uh, secondary pathogens or um, sometimes like things like pitch canker will get established at these sites because it's a wound. And so that can then further cause issues. And so one way to identify this uh, is that oftentimes the, the growth will actually break off very easily um, where, where you have that, that tip moth damage because you see that just snapped very easily because there's a, there's a tunnel inside of there. So it's, it's very weak and it snaps right off, okay? Um, to separate this from pitch canker though, because you know, in a way it sort of looks a little bit like pitch canker. Well, one, you have those tunnels, those, those galleries inside. So you can see how that's all hollowed out in the center. See, it's, it's hollow, breaks right off. And the other thing is you don't have a lot of resin. You don't have that you know, significant resin production that you'd have with pitch canker. If this were pitch canker, you'd have pitch, you'd have resin running down the, 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 the stem because of course it's a canker um, and the, the pitch canker pathogen induces that resin production. You don't have that with, with tip moth. You just have the death of the, the tip and that's essentially it. And here you have it again on this one, you can see that tip died and you have the, it, the it's, it just breaks away because it's, it's uh, burrowed out. And often it's, it's, it's um, just the tip. Uh, you know, it, it can vary how much death you have. It depends on the developmental stage, but it's often just, um, just the tip. Whereas pitch canker will often kill, you know, a larger section of the stem. And like I said, you know, the adult uh, is a moth, but often we don't see that moth because it's, it's only present at a certain time of the year and then they're gone. So usually what we're left with is, is that damage. This, uh, this primarily uh, is a problem on loblolly pine. It causes a lot more damage on loblolly than, than other pine species, but you can find it on, on other species. You can find it certainly on, on slash and other species, but it's most, most significant on, on loblolly pine. So that is pine tip moth and how to identify it.